Tim. We're out here today on the farm doing some extreme detecting. This uh, the weather is appalling. I've just been chased off the field for the first time, so I thought I'd do a little uh, introduction. Um, we're on the same farm we were on last time where I found my Henry VIII. Um, the field, which you can't see on camera, just to my left here, is the field I had my little seal matrix off of. The field, literally behind us here, Les is currently on that as we speak, and uh, that's the one I had my Henry VIII off, and that's the one we spent a little bit of time on this morning already. Um, it's forecast today for rain more or less all day and I've just been chased off the field for the first time with rain, less is stuck at it. Uh, extremely high winds so you have to forgive us uh, at times where you probably won't be able to hear us because it's okay here because we're sheltered where the camera is literally it's under a tree and there's a big hedge behind it which is blocking the wind but when you get out into a field it's horrendous. Um, right by my feet here there's a massive great puddle i don't know if you can see that on camera but it's literally just in front of me uh yeah we've had a bit of rain on the way up here it was torrential um we did on actually contemplate for a minute not bothering turning around and going home but since we've been here um we've just had this one little squally bit of rain so far which was heavy enough to get me off the field but i'm going to go back out in a minute yeah so uh les hasn't had a had much luck i've had a couple of little bits and pieces which you'll see on the film uh, we're going to give it a few hours here today unless the weather closes in in which case we'll pack it up but anyway that's enough waffle see you on the next good hole all right good morning i've just dug up my first little artifact and uh i think it's a little buckle looks like a little buckle Well, I really must start by apologising for this wind. It is extreme conditions today. Um, we've not been here long. Well, we've been, here, we've been sitting in the car for like half an hour when we got here because it was raining. The forecast for today is rain on and off. Uh, strong winds, gusts of 50 odd miles an hour. So it's going to be quite extreme. But this looks like some kind of buckle or something along those lines. It's only small. Bit to start. We're on the same farm today where I found my Henry VIII uh, little hammered coin and my uh, seal matrix and at the moment I'm on the same field and within 100 yards of where I found that so uh, we're just going to give this a go for a little while because it's not as windy on this field as it is on others because we've got a bit of protection from the trees but um, yeah we'll keep going and see how we get on so uh, that's the first little thing of today. I think it's a little buckle. Yeah, a little buckle. I have no idea on the age. Right, let's, uh, let's crack on. Right, I have my first coin. And I'm going merely on the shape here that this is a rose farthing. Because rose farthings never seem to be round. They all seem to be that kind of square with rounded edges kind of shape. Um, so that's what I'm putting it down to, a rose farthing. So I've only been on this field now for about 15 minutes and I've had that buckle and this little rose farthing. So at the moment things are actually looking quite good. So uh, hopefully they'll improve. Oh, morning all. Uh, been here for a little while just having a little go around this farm um, I've had a just open the screen right up and I was just digging everything but it was all scrap um, didn't really get a lot I think a hobnail was the only thing that I actually did find it but it wasn't worth filming but uh, this is the first thing got 1138 on the e-track well actually going from 1133 but and it looks like something not a coin but Looks like a little handle or something like that. Not quite sure. Have to ask the expert. But there you go, that's my first decent find. Or something interesting. Well, we moved on to another field now. One I've never tried before and I thought I thought I had a silver unit for a minute. It's got the right shape. And all I saw was a flash of silver coming out of the clod. Oop. But no. It's only a button. 
Right, let's keep going. <coughs> right, I think it's time for a live dig. Right, wherever this is close to the surface by the sound of it, it's quite a high pitched signal. It's giving a number of 19. Don't know if that means anything. Right, it does appear to be out. So let's see if it is out. Let's put that there. Right, he's out, whatever it is. Ah. Oh. Actually, I think it's a button. Yeah, it is. See the gold gilding on it still. Ah, it's a bugger. Thought it was a little Roman. But no, it's just a gold gilding. It's got quite a lot of gilding on there still. I have to give it a clean up, see what it is. Looks like there's some kind of pattern on it. Right, let's keep going. Well, we are digging a lot more than we're obviously showing you. And uh, this is a typical, this one is a typical signal that I've been getting most of the day. And I thought I'd dig this one. I thought I'd dig this one to show you basically what we're digging. Up a bit. All day we get signals like this. But this one was a lot easier to get out than most of them I've been. Oh, I've got a very strong wind behind me. I really do not know how it's affecting the mic. Right, it's in this clump here. No, it's not in that bit. Oh, it's in one of these. It's not in that one. Not in that one. Alright, it is one of those little pins they bang into hold the wire onto wire fences or wooden fences with wire going across them. That's all it is. I'm digging loads of this sort of thing, but I haven't been showing it, so now you see what we're having to go through with these weather conditions as well. It's really unpleasant at the moment, but still enjoying it though. Right, on to the next. Right, next signal, it's a 15. Right, once again, I do apologise for this wind. It is really strong here, up here at the top of the hill. Right, I think that was a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's come out in the first scoop. And I think it's in this little bit here. Oh, it is. And it is a, what looks like a piece of a crotal bell. Judging by the pattern on it. See the little lines going down it? I think that's a little bit of a crotal bell. It's a shame it's not a whole crotal bell. But as I say, this is the sort of junk we've been digging up all day. Right, on to the next. <clears throat> right, I'm on my way back to a car, have a cup of tea. And on the way back, I've got a nice 18 signal. So I thought I'd do a live dig on it. You never know. Oh, it's out. First scoop. That was quite a big scoop that time. Alright. It's over here somewhere. Oh, it's not in there. Not in there. Hmm. It's definitely reading over there. Ah, there it is. 
looks like one it's one of those um like loops you get in tarpaulin to tie the rope through you have a good signal that yeah i think that's what it is it's one of those loops you get in the tarpaulin all right it's just starting to rain again now so let's get back to the car a bit lively and have a cuppa yeah, if I walked across that, I definitely would have dig that one. Right, and this is a steady 18, so I've got a... What did I say it was on mine? So it's a good signal, but I guarantee it's going to be a bit of rubbish, because it's all I've been digging. And it's still very light and soft on the top. Yeah, have you got to be spoiled for me, how's that? No? Can't really, your detectors... <laughs> No, go over with your coil, I mean, otherwise I could do it with your probe. Yeah, but while you're digging, you know, what was that? That oh, could be your... Hang on, let's go over with my coil. Yeah, I can't get near it, will you? Yeah, it's there. <coughs> right. New field. The field I got my um, bronze unit off of I'm having, I'm having this trouble last time I could never find it even though you can pinpoint it when you detect it you just can't bloody That's, def that's definitely where it's picking it up from there. All right. Oh. It's back in the hole. <laughs> so once you picked it up and thrown it back in the hole. There we go. Hey, hey a little buckle. Buckle. Little buckle. That was my first definite buckle today. The other one was a, I don't know. I think it was a buckle. Right, onwards. I found this on the surface. First uh, surface find of the day, but it is unfortunately just another button. Well, at long last, I've actually found something that's potentially a coin. This was coming up, oh, it's getting a strange signal, but it was a good two way signal, so I thought I'd give it a dig and it changed to 11 34, 10 34, so and I've just seen it. I thought it was going to be trash, but it looks like it could be a coin. Or is it a big button? No, my luck. It'll be a button. It looks to me like the... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's not a button. It's just a toasted coin. I'll have a little clean up of it and see if I can see anything on it. Yeah, there's actually no markings on it at all, so it's just a coin shaped piece of metal but a bit of luck it might uh, might be something else on this field so it seems a bit more promising than the last one well I would have taken up residence at the side of the field because it's raining again as you can see here it's a, it's a beautiful area with this nice little rectangular field which slopes down the way we've just been walking up because we've been walking up in this direction and it slopes from right to left and uh, it goes slightly downhill as you go down that way but this is the field I had my uh, bronze unit off when I used to come over this farm like 15, 18 years ago uh, Les is on his way over so I'll have a, con a little chat with him in a minute because apparently he would have shouted over a little while ago found a coin so 
we'll have a quick butchers at that but yeah it's just a it's a beautiful place it's nice and quiet apart from the wind the wind has been very noisy but at the moment I'm quite well sheltered from it but where these tree lines are behind me if I face into the wind that field on the other side of this tree line which is slightly higher than this one is another one that we could go on if we wanted to it's quite a big farm this not big enough for the sort it was the layout's a bit confusing but um anyway we'll have a chat with Les in a minute okay I have a very good signal this time very stable 20 I don't think it's very deep either this could be a coin it's definitely high pitched enough to be an old uh, yeah, definitely high pitched enough to be an old milled doesn't mean it's going to be and on today's luck it probably isn't going to be well it's in here oh there it is I think it's a button Oh, I don't think it is a button. I think you'll find that's a little Roman. That's a little Roman coin. Yeah, definitely Roman. It's a bit um, toasted, but there is something on there. Unfortunately, I forgot my water bottle this morning, so I can't. Um, yeah, I can't actually see what it is, but it's definitely a little Roman bronze, a little grot fair sized chunk actually oh, it's my best find of the day there's definitely something on there there's definitely a bust on there but I've got no chance of seeing who it is until I've cleaned it alright Roman bronze I have a signal here which is a 15 16 So the Roman coin came out as an 18 but we're so close to where I found it that I thought it was worth filming this just in case well it's definitely out alright let's see what we can see Obviously it's going to take me ages to find it like it normally does. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well, somehow I've totally missed it. Cleared out all the spoil I've taken out. What's the betting is this laying there now? Right, it's there. Let's go over it with a pinpoint. That's how I gotta find it that way. Oh, it's just a musket pistol ball. Yep, it's just a pistol ball. It would have been nice to have been another Roman. But there you go, pistol ball. Right, I've got another signal. The heavens have really opened. The wind has increased. I'm going towards the edge of the field to take shelter. And what happens? I get a signal. Isn't that always the way? I'll have to turn you to the wind I'm afraid actually the wind seems to have dropped off again right whatever it is is out and let's hope it's worth getting an absolute soaking for because that's what's happening
Oh. And I think that's what I dug. Yep, a bit of rubbish. Right, dive for the trees. Uh, I've dived in these trees out of the rain because it's uh, absolutely hammering it down. I just noticed Les is making a bolt for the trees at the top of the field. And I've ended up in this little world surrounded by, um, well, it's like a, an old dried up river, but it's probably just a ditch for the edge of the fields. Uh, looks like there's a lot of pasture land surrounding this part. But yeah, as you can see by the mist out there, it is literally belting it down. Yeah, I'm getting sprayed with it. It's absolutely belting it down now, and that wind has really picked up. So, uh, just taking some shelter, and I thought I'd investigate this little, this little part of the world which I otherwise would never have seen. Yeah, it's just a dried up ditch, I think. Uh, looks like there's grazing there for horses. It does look like some kind of overgrown paddock over there. Down here, nothing, you can't get down there. Up here, obviously our field. We've got another dried up, uh, well, dried up, overgrown um, paddocks there. Probably got no horses on them at the moment. And just this, uh, nothing really down here of any interest. All right, it's time for a call of nature and then uh, Sarah made for this rain. Yeah, it's really coming down sideways. I can see it in absolute sheets. And uh, it's happening while we're at the furthest point away from where the car is. We're right over the far side of the farm from the car. Isn't that typical? Right, call to nature. <clears throat> right, we're back out detecting again now. And uh, I have another good signal. This has got the same numbers as that little Roman coin I found. It's got to be worth a dig. I think it's out on the first scoop. Oh, I'll tell you what, my legs are aching like hell. Walking around this field with half of the field on your boots, it's not very pleasant. I hope that's not it. And that is indeed it. I think. That is probably a sack seal. Looks like it. Yes, it is. I'll have to give it a clean up and see what it's got. Because it's definitely got writing on it. It's uh, clearly a sack seal. There you go. Alright. Well, this is the number I've not had today. 10. Yep, definitely a number I haven't had today. Let's see what it produces, if anything at all. Out straight away. I wouldn't have a clue what this could be. I'll find the thing first. You go through my usual hunting and not finding it again. Yeah, right, pinpointer. Right, well, there it is. Now this is interesting. Look at the shape of it. It's definitely got something on there, but if you look on the back, it's got kind of little pins. I have no idea what this could be at all, no idea. Looks like there's a bit of old gold gilding on there as well. No idea. Absolutely clueless on this one. Right, let's keep going. Well, I didn't film this uh, live dig because it wasn't a very good signal. Signal. Well, I think it's a coin. 
Well, I can't really make anything out on it. It could be a token because it looks like it's made of lead. Yeah, I think it's a lead token. Yeah, must be a lead token. Right, well that's probably going to be the final dig now because I'm almost back at the car. But it's not a bad little way to end. It's definitely coin-like, so I assume it's a little lead token. Right, onwards. Right, that's the end of yet another session. Um, not the best of days. The weather has been quite extreme at times, hence the reason for the title of this video. Um, currently sheltered behind a really thick hedge so hopefully it's keeping the wind off of me uh, right at the very death I had that little lead well I assume it's a little lead token I won't know for 100% until I get home and give it a quick clean up uh, little Roman bronze which is my highlight for the day don't get too many of those it's only my second ever one off of this video not video off of this farm and literally right behind where the camera is literally 50 feet behind the camera is where I found my first ever one about 18 years ago. Um, I don't know of any scheduled times we're going to come out because I'm at work now for the next five days. Uh, it's Friday today, though I probably won't upload this till Sunday. Um, Sunday after that is probably when we'll next be coming out to a farm, but we'll probably hit uh, a beach or something in the meantime. So um, until then, Bye-bye for now.